Then next one is citizens have same aim as that government. Third one is therefore they can cooperate with each other easily. Like I think as you have experience like uh, when you talk to your friend, if you talk to you know, Brazilian friend, it's really tough for us to you know build up the conversation. But you can make it make it like image. When you talk to a like, Korean friend, Japanese friend, it's really easy to you know go drinking, hang out with each other. Because of assimilation. Because of similarity. Okay. Next one is let me ask you a question. Have you ever met a Japanese Canadian since you came here? Mm -hmm. How about me? Oh yes. I oh know. yes. <laughs> okay. When did you meet up? Uh, uh, in Japan? Uh, no, 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 in Canada. In Canada. When? Uh, my my friend. Older sister. Older sister. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, her, her husband is Canadian. Ah, okay. In this case, I, what I want to say is that, <laughs> in this case, what I want to say is that, uh, Japanese Canadian means, uh, Ise, it means, uh, I think 70 years ago, they came here as immigrants. After that, they have the same uh, kind of blood. But I think nobody met up Japanese Canadian since we came here. Why? So second generation. Yeah, second generation. Yeah, Japanese Canadian yes. or Japanese American? Can you do you want to talk about Japanese American as well or just uh, only just, Japanese, just Japanese Canadian? Japanese Canadian. Okay. Yeah. Second generation. Okay, second generation. Also, uh, it easy you can make the image. They are Japanese Canadian who has settled down for, for a while in Canada. Also, there are a lot of festivals in British Columbia province. Then, also, I think as Japanese know, it is kind of uh, no. Like schools serve the food as a lunch and they share like that. <laughs> yes. Could you understand what I want to say? Also, are you following me? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Yeah, okay. Yes. Thank you. So, I'll show you one statistics. Population of Asian Canadians. Of course, Chinese is Diverse. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, everywhere. Yes, everywhere, <laughs> all, the, all over the world. And then, I'll focus more on just Korean and Japanese. In Korean case, 223,322 two, people is in Canada, are in Canada. But if I compare each other, why Japanese Canadian is has so small community? So, what incident happened to Japanese Canadians? Can you guess it? Or someone have kind of ideas? Why? Why or what happened to Japanese Canadians? History? Yes, exactly. It's related to <laughs> historical thing. Yes. So, uh, maybe everyone know World War II, second, right? And then, <coughs> at that time, Japanese Canadians were opponent to Canada. <coughs> and then, <coughs> Also, government has to set up a policy for Japanese Canadians. Firstly, 
yeah, allowed Japanese Canadians to move out to but specific in Canada, specific areas in Canada, such as you know, like more uh, near near mountains where nobody uh, nobody wants to stay there, like that. Like this, <laughs> but they can, they could cut, cultivate, cultivate a plant with the woods and grow like rice or something like that. But as you can see, there is no house. Is it because uh, go Canada government uh, didn't forgive them to move move into a large community of like native Canadians? And then like that. It is the British Columbia province and New Denver. Secondly, you know relocation camp. Have you ever heard of this word? Oh, okay. Relocation relocation camp means government force Japanese Canadian for example Japanese Canadian to enter one specific place, but it is so horrible and miserable. It's because <coughs> like this, buildings are almost same. They have to stay uh, under a really bad situation and a bad environment. Of course, they have to bring their stuff, but some guys has had to leave their stuff because government restricted them to bring all of like furniture and like luggage. Then, after that, uh, they had to get on the truck. Truck. It's so sad story for Japanese. Then, third one is working in sugar farm. And some of them chose to go back to Japan. The reason why Japanese Canadian has so small community now is because this is a reason. And that they can't have a baby anymore, and they, they had no choice to stay here. Then, yeah, it's easy you, it's easy to you, uh, for you, oh, it's easy for you to make an image, like this, this is a sugar farm, near the like forest. Then, oh, there is one ex exceptional thing, it is this. Do you know this situation? Like their marriage. Really yeah, marriage. Right yes. <coughs> when we, uh, when Japanese women married with native native Canadian, these Japanese women can get citizenship, and then government forgive them to stay with native Canadian in large community. Also, stay, they could stay with children and the parents. That's why some of them tried to get married with Japanese Arab, native Canadian. Also, I think when you go to Vancouver, I think Vancouver, the province of uh, British Columbia tried to keep this old house who had been settled, settled uh, which had been settled down by Japanese Canadians. Okay, next one. Do you know residential school? Maybe no. Yes, it is my expectation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, is a residential school. Then, okay, let's read an article together. I'll hand out 
articles of religions of schools. Were segregated by gender. Sweet. <laughs> when students returned to their 
result, uh, they often found they didn't belong. They didn't have the skills to help their parents and became ashamed of their native heritage. The, oh. the skills taught at the schools were generally substandard. Many found it hard to function in an urban setting. The aims of assimilation meant devastation for those who were subjected to years of Mystery months. Yeah, mystery months. Thank you for reading that. So I think this article is so tough for tough for us to understand. So I'll break it down. So please don't worry about it. Secondary. We stand before you today to offer an apology to former students of Indian residential schools. The treatment of children in Indian residential schools is a sad chapter in our history. Two primary objectives of the residential school system were to remove and isolate children from the influence of their home, families, traditions, and cultures, and to assimilate them into the dominant culture. These objectives were based on the assumption that Aboriginal cultures and spiritual beliefs were inferior and unequal. Indeed, some saw it, as was infamously said, to kill the Indian in the child. Today, we recognize that this policy of assimilation was wrong, has caused great harm, and has no place in our country. The government of Canada built an educational system in which very young children were often forcibly removed from their homes, often taken far from their communities. Many were inadequately fed, clothed, and housed. All were deprived of the care and nurturing of their parents, grandparents, and communities. First Nations, Inuit, and Métis languages and cultural practices were prohibited in these schools. Tragically, some of these children died while attending residential schools, and others never returned home. The government now recognizes that the consequences of the Indian residential schools policy were profoundly negative. Okay, thanks. So, I'll break it down. So, what is, what was the uh, uh, Aboriginal school, I mean, residential school? Firstly, government force up original people to uh, to integrate into Canada, force them to follow the way of Canada, such as <coughs> English customs and religion. In this case, uh, Christianity means Christian. It means native tradition disappears. Then. Also, it means as an inclusive way to be ready for modern society for original people. The government believes that. However, students had lived away from parents for a long time. Also, endured endured a lot of discrimination. As you can hear and read that, sexual abuse, like <coughs> also like kind of bullying from the teacher to original people. Then after graduated from this school, they lost confidence to trust their native heritage. They they will never, they will never believe this one. It's because they they lost a way to think about modern society. Then also, they are. Uh, it's really it was really difficult to help parents 
to live their daily lives again. As we heard of comments, he, uh, the kind of the person said, uh, <coughs> they've never returned back to native, native society. It's because, uh, because of wrong education in this uh, residential school. So, what I want to say is that also there is no answer because it's already finished. So please don't forget that Canada had a policy of assimilation. Now Canada introduced we our country have uh, our country have multiculturalism as a concept. But before before uh, adapting that there was this policy. Then, however, in fact, Canada had a chance to change their policy after some accident happened. As I said, like Japanese Canadian history and the residential school, it was uh, <coughs> they were also related to this one. So, finally, thanks to it, we have to appreciate it. People from other countries have been able to stay in Canada safely. Also, native speakers always accept us. It's, it's really important. So, let's share your ideas. So, I'll hand out, uh, sorry, before handing out, I'll pair you up. <laughs> I think this time I'm going to let the students do yeah. it on their own. Okay, record. yeah. So, yeah. So, I distribute that so. Firstly, which apologies, multiculturalism or assimilation? Does your country have or why? Then, second one, will there be censorship? Do you know censorship? No. Okay, I'll explain that. Uh, for example, government always checks media, media broadcast, um, like information on the website or like newspaper, if it is correct and it, if it is bad but influence for the people. It is censorship. They blocked it, they control the media? Yeah, control the media. Like China. I think Korea and Japan or Canada is really free. No. The media? Oh, really? No. no? Nowadays, no. Not, 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 nowadays so. not really. Not really. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. Could you understand? Yeah. Thank you. Then, third, thirdly, a uh, third, what industries will your country try to be developed? Fourth, will citizenship be allowed to carry a gun? <laughs> like USA or uh, Canada? <laughs> and then, fifth, does your country have a specific religion? I think it is related to first question. Six, what kind of immigration policy will there be? So, let's, wow. let's talk about that. I'll give you almost 10 minutes, so please let, uh, let's call the What do you prefer? 
basically they have to follow our own culture so they have to learn our culture first mm. but it doesn't mean that we will get rid of their own culture and also we will teach children respect another's culture so no discrimination mm. so our concept is uh, combine multiculturalism with assimilation oh great like mix thank you for <coughs> Our country name is the Republic of Nano. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and our country. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we will cho choose multiculturalism. Why? Why? There's a why. <laughs> yeah. We will allow everyone mm. every different culture in our country mm. so generous yes. everyone is really generous mm. they are open-minded yeah, so that's why we can get we can choose that multiculturalism like expand your perspective yes so everyone mm, is the same like, okay uh, equal okay and there will be censorship no, there's no censorship, but we will regulate that some people who try to like, uh, use media in the bad in a bad way, strictly, really strictly. Mm. Even though we are open-minded, our law is really strict. <laughs> there's death penalty, mm. and then like, uh, it's really strict. Okay. So uh, we hate crimes. Uh, and what industries? Main industry is nanotechnology. <laughs> <laughs> and the second main industry is nuclear power. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, we have a good technology of the nuclear power plant, but we don't use it in our country. Because so we export our skills, and then we made it, and then we export it to another country. Yes. Awesome. awesome. And we don't allow to carry a gun because we like safety. And then uh, we have one religion called worship us. Everywhere, everywhere can find our picture and stage. And once, 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 once a day, once a day, uh, once a week. Uh, bow. If criminals want to live in our country, uh, kind of there should be a relocation camp. Brainwashing <laughs> <laughs> or multiculturalism because we will gather people from another countries and we will uh, respect their own ideas or identities and there will be uh, we, we we will give freedom to media and we will develop tourism <coughs> industry because mm. if we develop tourism uh, we can get money and we can develop our country with that money. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And citizens are not allowed to carry a gun because um, <coughs> having a gun, the, the idea of having a gun itself is scary, it scares mm. us a lot. So we don't allow this. Um, about religion, uh, we it depends on citizens. Mm -hmm. Everyone can.
and chest there. Okay. For not having any. Immigration policy is. We will not Criminals and we will make test. Mm. Mm. We we have a test. Test. We will make test uh, to notice they have. Racism or th mm. those kind of things, mm. and but we will not allow those people because our concept is not equal. Mm. Right. Uh, or, um, Bao. Bao. I will not discriminate mm. other race or other mm. gender. Mm. Right. Yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, next one. Okay. In our country, we have multiculturalism because we protect what was that? Racism. Because we can we can we are the same human and we don't have any way, so that's why we can be <coughs> Equal. Mm. We, we, we can maintain equal statute, state. Yeah. And also, uh, we we are not censorship. Mm. A censorship. 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 Yes. Because some people, some people just follow government policy, even though they don't know about, they don't know exactly. So they have right about know what they are doing now. So I think it it doesn't need. And our main industry will be trade. Trading. Trading. Okay. And we can we can spread our own culture mm -hmm. and we can take their own culture so we can mix it. Mm. The world is culture. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, number four, our answer was no, because yeah, uh, mm, we we can commit suicide too easily if uh. Uh, we have a gun, and I'm afraid of mm, uh, oh I forgot it. <laughs> uh, we we can kill uh, someone. Uh, it's yeah, it's easily. easily for a long distance, from long distance. Mm -hmm. And sniper. Uh, yeah, yeah, sniper. sniper. Yeah. And uh, 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 I'm afraid of accidental shoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes a uh, child uh. child can use gun. Yeah. Then then speakers. Number five, most speak religion. Uh, our, our answer was no, but uh, we can choose uh, religion, but we don't need to be picky. Mm. And number six, mm. number six uh, we should respect each other, uh, we shouldn't discriminate each other. Great. Yeah, thank you for doing the presentation. Winner. Oh my god, I have to say. Winner. I give this one to Jay and May. It's because. Don't ask me. Judgment. <laughs> 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 okay, I'll give you later, so yeah. Then in conclusion. Uh yesterday as I said that 
others, other people, and even strangers have a lot of experience, a lot of comments, various perspectives, also different ideas to help our future better. Even though we have no uh, enough English skill, we can show our smile and passion. I want to talk to you, or please give me any great information like that. So what I want is that please don't reject to have conversation with each other. No matter what, <coughs> there are multiculturalism and assimilation. Human versus human. Okay. So all of them are related to uh, culture. And then I think you can you could understand what is assimilation and multiculturalism. Please don't forget it while you are staying in Toronto. After that, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for Thank <laughs> you.